I have just explained you how you could enable SSH server on Linux computer if it is not enabled and connect to Linux server remotely via secure protocol SSH. And actually here I am currently connected via SSH, you see this information here in description of this tab to our Docker Ubuntu container and I have just connected as root user. Alright, now let me show you two additional utilities called CURL and WGET. Let's first type CURL and here I see command not found. Let's quickly install it using apt-get, apt-get install CURL installing, yes. And now let's clear terminal and enter CURL and here as argument let's supply host name of one of the servers. For example, let's use again google.com. And here I actually get HTML page of google.com. And I get actually response that uh, google.com page was moved. I get response 301 moved. And uh, here is location of the server I need to connect to. You see that uh, prefix 3w's was appended to google.com name. Let's use CURL command but now with host name 3w's google.com like this. And now I get actually HTML page supplied by google.com server. You see that closing tag is HTML. And with CURL utility you are able to get actually content of the web page from the internet. Now let me show you one more utility called wget, this one. And with this utility you could download any file from internet. For example archive or some image or some text file, anything you want. And let's for example download the image from the google.com website. Let's open up web browser and open up new tab and enter here google.com. And here let's inspect this page, right button click inspect. Next please click on this selector element icon, this one. And click afterwards on this image. And here if you'll remove a bit this part, you'll see actual location of the image. Let me make it a bit larger like so. And here is this location. It is PNG file. Let me copy this path src and here let's append it to this host name like this. It is entire path for this icon. If I press enter here in web browser, I'll see this icon right here. Let's now use this path in wget command. I'll copy it and here enter wget like this and paste copied URL. Again this URL for specific image that is served by google.com server. Let's press enter and you'll see that this image was just downloaded to this computer. And if I enter ls, I'll see this image in the home directory, this current directory for this root user. Google logo, color and here is actually entire name of this png image. That's how you could use wget command in order to download some files from internet. Let me quickly get back to CURL command and show you how you could save HTML page to the file. And actually you know how to do that and please pause video now and try to save web page served by 3w's google.com to the file. Alright, let's do that together. You have seen that with CURL command and the argument 3w's google.com result will be printed actually to the terminal. And the reason for that is that uh, by default std out data stream is sent to the terminal. And if you want to redirect it to the file, you could use greater than sign operator. You remember that from the previous lectures. And here we could uh, give name to the file, let's say google.html. And now I see that the page was received and saved to this file. I don't see this output here in the terminal. And if I list files here now, I'll see additional file google.html. And if I read contents of this file, sorry it wasn't auto completed for some reason, google.html. And now I see contents of this file. That's how you could use wget and see URL utilities.
That's all for this quick lecture and in the next one I want to talk about environment variables. And I'll show you how to get currently set environment variables for current session and also I'll explain you how to create new environment variables and use them afterwards. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Bye-bye.